Yo, it's your boy Kenji Man, and I got another video for you. This is Kingdom Chapter 722 Reaction and Review. Uh, like I said in the last chapter, I said I wasn't going to be reading these speed translations, but I got to. G's Wag doesn't have the summary, and I was just going to do the spoiler summary, but he's not there. The speed translation, they, they're beating everybody. They're beating official translations, so I just go, I'm going to have to deal with it, people. You're going to have to deal with it, but we do get, you're going to get a good idea. So if you want to read this chapter in the speed translation, I always put the link in the descriptions at the bottom. So you go to this website called readkingdom.com. It's always got the chapters and it's always going to let you know when they're going to take a break or whatever. But, um, yeah, man, let's get into this chapter. And also, uh, thanks for everybody for stop freezing for a moment. Uh, thanks for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it very much, but we got to keep it going. We got to keep it growing. So um, just letting you know, you ain't got to. You could just keep watching. I ain't tripping. But letting you know this, 90% of y'all are not subscribed. And a lot of y'all are returning viewers. It's like 4,000 of y'all are returning viewers. And I'm just saying, man, think about it, man. Just think about it. Just hit the subscribe button and let's see where we can go from here. Because once I get to 500 subscribers, I will be able to put up the votes, right? And I'm going to do a, a lot with those votes. Whether, um, you know, because I want to ask the people who are subscribed to my channel, which video would you want next? Which character would you want next? Cause the uh me doing the um the breakdown of battles is coming, people. I just gotta build it up, and I have to build up my audience as well. It's just it's a business, baby. It's YouTube. So let's get into it, man. This is seven twenty two. The translations are done by four chan. <laughs> Let's go, man. So in the last chapter, we seen Kyuka. Instead of her going after Shen, who is the love of her life, just like uh, <laughs> with Molten and Eisen. Eisen said, "Fuck that Molten," because Molten was about to die. All right, Eisen felt it. He said, "I can feel his spirit going into the afterlife." He had to go save him. But this is like the second time. Eisen didn't been saved from death. I mean, Molten been saved from death. But look, let's go. We see Lieutenant Kyokai bust through. She made it through, all right? Lieutenant Kyokai made it through. And she's bleeding out her mouth. And only, only uh, Ray really knows what's going on. And she's like, Kain. Is it Kane or Kain? Kaini. I think it's Kaini. I'll be saying Kane. It's, the, it's just the way it's written. Kaini. And then her men are like, follow after Lieutenant. Oi. And they like, block them, bitch ass out. And they're like, oh, this bitch ass out. Fool. Oi. And Ray is even having a difficult time. And it's only because she's tired. It's only because she's tired. You got to save your breath with these girls. All right. And so... But they still get through. They push the Zao out the way. And they're like, oh, good, great. And we see Roboku and his HQ of bitches, right? They're like, oh, the High Shin unit managed to break through Sekka army. And I'm like, fuck them niggas from Sekka. For real. I, from this day on, I'm no longer complimenting Sekka army. They are the bitch ass niggas that Roboku went and got to save his ass. But they're going to be the end of his ass in a little bit. We know what's going to happen. So, so get this little dub. Get this little dub, bro. All right. I wonder if Shiba Show going to show up in this battle. Because I know this, this battle is supposed to... Spoilers. This battle is supposed to be where... Kanki loses, but there's also supposed to be another battle where Ozen and Kanki, I think they they defeat them, but Kanki ends up dying. I know, 
you're like, no. I think somebody in the show he can video complimented like he didn't know. Let me tell you this. Somebody didn't know that Shohiken was going to become king of Chu. I'm like, did you not read the first, the the uh, the prequel chapter to this show? Or how can you be this far deep into the show and not know that? I, it's it it blows my mind, bro. But um, here come the men again. They're like, no way, Roboku Sama's encirclement was broken through, bro. Roboku take. L's all the time, G. And you had to be there to see it. You old motherfuckers. Bro, he take L's all day. All day. Stop being surprised, bro. That's why he up in the north. Because he take L's. He, he, this is what he do. He take the L's and go. <laughs> he eats them. Okay. All right. And then Roboku's like, no. They haven't done it yet. And then, then we go to the second general Gaku show. He's like, don't panic. Just a single spot was broken through by a unit, not the main force. That's not enough to affect the whole battlefield. I know we got to wait for Aizen to do something. Aizen looks tired. But I think Aizen is super Saiyan. So, um, he got Saiyan blood. But, um, both Shin from the Haishin unit and Molten from the Gaku car is here. Motosama, please, please awake. Please awake. Translation is messed up. And then we look at Gaku Show again. That means both Haishin Unit and Gaku Ka are still here. You just said that. You said it twice, bro. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Translations. Ugh. Kaini, it's good that we got out, but it's just us. How are you going to do it from here? Oh shit, they're chasing us. And are you alright? You're moving that recklessly. And she looks back. She's breathing all hard. We need to match them. Follow me. Hey, she gotta become she wants to be a great general too. She's gonna have to push her limits. Oh yeah. separate. Separate the commander from Shin and those two aides. Great. The Haishin unit is getting tired. These are all Zao haters. Take them out. Kill them. Kill Shin of the Arm oh, dead. Uh, uh, huh? Nay, even the horse died. But look, the infantry's, wait, this is the infantry of the Haishin unit. Infantry's caught up thanks to the front being blocked. Oh, it's this, oh, my, it's my boy Jugen. Oh. <laughs> And then this uh, dude with the weird hairstyle, I forgot his name. Uh, Captain's, Captain, are you alright? And Jugan's like, how dare you to kill Gakurai? I didn't even know y'all was cool like that, but prepare yourselves. Uh-oh, we see the uh, the original high shin unit getting crunk, y'all. Bye, hi, hi, Ro. And then we see Joe Carryu. Call our infantry as well. Yes, sir. Uh oh, infantry versus infantry. It's a. I would. Want, what What would you want to be? An infantry or a cavalry? I would want to be down at the infantry, getting it down. I don't got time to be worrying about a horse. It would be an all-out war. I'd be out there. <laughs> and so we see Hiro, Shugen. Uh, some dude just got stabbed in the back. That's fucked up. But um, then the Zai, the Zai ain't playing. And then Bai is like, these guys are strong. And they go, bro, Bai, you're strong. You didn't survive so much. I'm tired of them niggas making you look weak, bro. Kill them niggas. Oh, shit, the infantry are dying. Cairo 10, even with Shugan's infantry, the enemy is not moving at all. They went and got the best. The best of the best of the best of the best. Damn it. What's with this enemy? Kiwakai unit who is... The Kyokai unit who escaped to the right side disappeared while being chased. We have no choice but to break through this center here. Gakuka, with molten injured, can only manage to not crumble all at once. The Haishin unit must do it somehow. But, but how? Captain, who is our only hope is being blocked by the enemy commander. We're just gonna have to wait, motherfucker. 
And then we see, man, stop showing all my high sheen when the niggas die. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's the dude with the bows. Is that true, brother? Anyway, they said it's this way. There must have been a mistake. About fucking time that we see these dudes. Huh? Gakurei san. Ugh. I didn't know Gakurei was so loved by everybody. Bro, those arrows dudes, bro. We need you guys to start killing people, man. You guys need to be utilized right now. Damn. And so Shin is fighting this crazy dude. Joe Carey was not playing with y'all, bro. Oh, get away from Captain. And there's it's those two guys on the side, too. Uh, and then we see... Uh, how did I forget his name already? Gyro. Damn it. At least I want to... At least... I want to free Shin and put him in front, but I can't shake them off. Gyro! Man, Shin is getting body rocked by this dude. Shin, it's over. Die! And then the other, his two men, his right hand man and his left hand man, are trying to kill Shin too. Huh? What the fuck? Did Joe, okay, one of his men were trying to kill Shin, and he looked at him like, Joe Carey was like, hmm? And then he killed them. Oh, they call him Ung Kyung? No, no, no. He didn't kill him. I thought he killed him. I was about to say, boy, you you worse than Hoken. But nah, he got an arrow to the face. And then he got slit. Who got... Okay, I don't understand if he got hit with the arrow first or did he get cut down by Shin. And Shin looks back. Ung Kyung. Sama. There's an archer. Must be Jen and Tan. Jen and Tan. I just did a Hashin, Hashin unit video. How did I forget this already? Um, so they're shooting. The men around him are like, good work. Next will be that giant over there. He's the enemy commander who killed Kakurai's son. Can you see him from here? Yes, we can. Go, Jen. Go, Tan. Avenge Kakurai's son. Even though I feel like this is my whole ass shit, but fuck that. They kill Gakurai son. Even Jen is like Gakurai son. And then we go to a flashback with uh Gakurai. This life was once saved by your father, Sogen Sama. Oh yeah. They he was the one that told him about their father. I can't really treat new recruits like you any favorable, but if anything happens, come to me for consult for, for consultation anytime. Ten. I mean, Jen, Tan, thanks for coming here. I'm truly happy to be able to fight alongside with you two in this unit. We we are also happy. Happy. Gakura-san. Oh, shit. That dude, Jokario, blocked it with his own glaive. No, with his own um forearm um, armor. But it went straight through his arm. Oh, man, this battle going to... Whatever, man, all right? We didn't see Shane kill too many Zao people. We ain't, ain't got to prove nothing to this Joe Carey, you motherfucker. All right? And then they're like, oh, shit, he blocked it. The arrow got... I saw it. He saw through the bow. The, through Bow Brothers' arrow. No way. And Gar was like, no. That will be enough for Shin. Oh, yeah. Shin. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, he hit this nigga so hard, he bent his glaive into his chest. It didn't go all the way through. He just knocked him off the horse. But that, I'm sure that dude's still alive. To carry Usama. Oh, but you better watch out. You better watch out for Garu. Garu about to take a body today. And then that nigga like, oh, he, he about to kill him too? You bastard. Oh, onion. That's the that's the dude that's still alive. His left hand man. And then we see some Hashin unit guys speaking. Oh, the enemy commander is still moving. And Shin's like, damn it! By a narrow margin, he was unable to kill him. No, that was the same same dude speaking. This is Gyro. Forget him, Shin. Leave enemy commander to infantry. You go to the vanguard and aim for a breakthrough. Protect your Karyo Sama, man. Fuck you, Zao niggas. You are the only one who can lead the Haitian unit. Go! 
All right, we will penetrate the front. Hi, Shin Eunuch, follow me. Oh, go follow Shin with all you have. That was a good idea, man. He ain't got time to be standing there. And then the Hai Shin Eunuch are like, go, go. And Kyo Tin's like, Kyo Tin, Captain is, yeah, this is it. This is the only time we're going to. Oi. And then Gaku Show, one of his men are like, Gaku Show Sama, Hai Shin Eunuch is breaking through the center. And he's like, it's fine. Ah, uh, this this dude, Gakusha, is a baby Reboku. I swear to God. He reminds me of him. He's always calm, even when he's taking the L's. Ooh, I hate this motherfucker. Everybody's trying to be like Ozen. You can't be Ozen, bitch. But look, the main force of the Jokeryu at the center is stronger than those of the Gakusha army. Even if it's Haishin unit, even if it's the Haishin unit, they will use up all the strength they have, no matter what. I get it now. When these translations are done, like somebody told me this, they're done by a computer because a lot of times we don't see the word D, T H E, the word D. And a lot of times in other people's languages, like especially in Asia, they don't they don't put D in nothing. They just say it. They just say the noun and they don't put D thing. They just put thing. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. <laughs> Shin is breaking through. They're getting shot by arrows from the back. But they're getting through. People are dying around Shin. They're like, oh my god. Oh, Shin's horse got stabbed. You know, when Shin get in these situations like this, I don't even be stressed. I'll be like, because I know. I know. Shin is unbeatable. He's the general under the sun. And look, Shin got arrows in him. Uh-oh. Shin, the horse is slowing down. He's bent over. He got his head down. There's only two things that's about to happen. Shin's hair is about to turn gold. And he's about to turn to Super Saiyan. Or he's about to die. And ain't no way he's about to die. And one of his men like, Captain's legs, they stopped. Now, who is this bitch-ass nigga from the Jokeri? Okay, this is the Jokeri Army Lieutenant. Ho Jao Gong. And he's laughing. Foo hoo hoo hoo. What a shame. That guy called the Shin of the High Shin unit. No. You can't even say he came close to the place to be called like that. I will compliment you for putting up a decent struggle. And then we see Hiro. Shin! Captain! Shred them apart. Yes, sir. And that was the dude. And then Shin is like, this should be enough if we came this far. And the Zao people are like, what is about to happen? And even Ashin Unit, the people in Ashin Unit are like, huh? To break through a thick wall, one has to go forward while digging it through. This is Shin, huh? Back. From both front and back. Yeah, bro. Kyoka came back. She was supposed to, she's encircling you guys. It's the encirclement. Now, if Aizen would have just did exactly what Kiwakai did, right? He would have did the encirclement too. But be, he's not going to be able to do the encirclement. All he did was pierce straight through to go help Molten. Which means the Zao right side is still going to be pushing strong. But now you got the left side. Which is the high shin unit? Well, the left side, the left side of the Zhao, which is the right side of the high shin unit, right? They just encircled the Zhao, kill Kazuru, and now she's about to kill their lieutenant. What? Yeah, yeah, nigga, you dead. And that's the wrong person to have right behind you, right? I never seen the only person I ever seen block her attack is Hoken. All right. That motherfucker dead, all right? I knew he was talking too much shit to stay alive too early, but he about to die. So look, great chapter as usual. Um, Man, so much happened. Joe Cario got knocked off his horse. I, bitch. <laughs> but Gyro, Gyro's going to have to handle that situation because Joe Cario going to get back up. But his glaive is broken now. So what are you going to do? You're going to have to grab something else, right? 
So he's gonna have to, uh, they're gonna have to wait on him to, and then he got a big ass cut in his chest. He ain't doing nothing. He's gonna have lump, blood all coming out of his lungs. But, um, yeah, um, damn, what, what could possibly happen? Because, yeah, let's do a little prediction. Because it's a great chapter. Um, the high shin unit are going to be able, they're going to be able to push now. <laughs> now that they're group. So it's up to the high shin unit. It's up to the high shin unit. Eisen is basically just stalling Gaku Show and that 5,000 man commander from the second army. <laughs> but if Eisen is able to kill those guys, which I doubt it. But I think Eisen's just too tired. You can say Eisen killed that 5,000 man commander, but I don't think he's going to kill Gaku Show. <laughs> but this is going to mean something big. Gaku Show is going to have to do something now. Because he's the main brain of this second army. Joe Carey is just a muscle. Now that that lieutenant is going to get killed, and the High Shin unit is going to be able to push. Because you can see Shin. Shin and his men are bouty bouty, right? They about to come through. I don't know if y'all know what that means. Bout it, bout it means you bout that real life in real life. <laughs> People in the translation ain't gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. But look, there's, and I also want to say this: if you are from another country, because I've seen this, somebody said, uh, "Can you please put in French subtitles?" And I'm like, I can't, bro, because if I spend all that time putting in my own French subtitles. When there's multiple people from different countries all over the world, then I'm gonna have to do translation videos. I'm gonna have to do separate videos for all you guys. So there is a thing called YouTube translations. So you're gonna have to go at the bottom and translate it into French. All right. I, some people don't know that. I don't know how, but um, must be new to YouTube. But I'm letting you know. But yeah, man. Um. Gakusho, in the next chapter, is this is the response you're going to get. It's going to be up to Gakusho in his next battle. Because this part of the field is where, like Shen said, this is where the fire starts. This is where the fire starts. So we, while this whole thing is happening, understand, Heki is taking a frontal assault from the Zao. Kanki, well, Kanki army hasn't been touched yet. It's the uh the Western Army, our Western Army, Northwestern Army, right? That is fighting against the Zhao that are coming from our right flank. And I don't think we got nothing in the back, right? But that's that's what's crazy about it. If Kanki wanted to leave right now, he could just leave. <laughs> he could just dip like a potato chip. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't have enough information on the battlefield. All I know is what is happening right here. And I know some people are like, why don't Roboku just surround them all and just kill them? It's like, bro, you only can fight the people that's in front of you. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. It's the same thing when Yatama was fighting uh, fighting uh, Shonshuju. Uh, and the mountain people at Ryu, Ryu, at Ryu, at Ryu, at Ryu, Ryu, I can't even pronounce it, Ryu Yu, right? And they got out of there, right? You're only fighting the people really that's in front of you. So it's really about stamina. If your army has more stamina than the other guy, or the will to live, it'll go down like a motherfucking pound for pound. So, yeah. Look at Kyuga. Stamina. She usually runs out of stamina, but they had a will to fight for Shen. We thought we, she was just gonna leave Shen, huh? I called it, didn't I? I said the encirclement was gonna happen. That's the only way they was gonna be able to defeat these guys is in to encircle their um their center, not their uh rear guard. The rear guard is gonna be there, and there's gonna be more soldiers behind them. But with this, people say. What would this do? What is this fight going to actually do? <laughs> it's going to build morale. That's one. And also, not only is that morale going to 
move on to the next battlefield where Hecky is at. But if they are able to push this second army back, then their army can literally go help Hecky. But truly, 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 the main decision is going to be up to Kanki. Like, that's why you, come on y'all, Kanki ain't made a move yet. It's really going to be up to what Kanki does. Kanki is watching this and he's going to utilize it. Just like Roboku. You see, Roboku ain't did nothing. He's just watching. He's letting his boys do it. So we're going to see what's going to happen, man. Um, Can't tell you too much. All I know, wait, like I said, it's going to be the morale. The second thing that could possibly happen, like I said, is that this can, didn't I say this already? Uh, once they push these guys back, then they can literally focus on something else. Because I know they're not going to keep pushing through, right? Because then they're just going to run into another army of the Zao. So this is basically a fight for their lives. Fight for their lives. Until the point where, you know, they're going to have to break through. I'm trying to think what horror could possibly be doing. Because <laughs> I don't get it. Man, the only choice for them to do is just try to get out of there. Retreat. It's like Molten Sama said. But the, Molten, remember, at the very beginning, Molten did send his rear guard to protect them. Remember, remember, forget, don't forget. There's an army um, that came from the left, the left back end of the Molten army. So they kind of are surrounded, though. So I don't know what they're going to do, man. It's just so much that's happening. But I'm going to just focus on one thing at a time instead of trying to predict everything on the battlefield. But other than that, it's a wrap. It's your boy, Genji. Subscribe, comment, like, share. Do all the other things. I'm out.